everybody, uh, Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is enjoying your weekend despite the weather here. I am having a blast. Uh, all things considered, uh, with everything that uh, we've been through uh, over the last couple of weeks and what I've been through through the year, uh, I'm finding joy in my purpose, joy in rediscovery, joy in truly finding me so i'm i'm in this sweet place despite everything that's going on and for the people who have shown me love throughout the year again thank you um i'm gonna try to be brief here um you guys know me i don't do a whole lot of uh, going out i kind of hang with the guys at the cigar shop go grab me something something to eat sometimes um and sort of chill uh, that's just who I am and where I'm at right now. I'm good. But uh, I'm going to hang out with the guys. But, but anyway, first and foremost, if you believe in the work that we do at the Odyssey Project, show some love. We're in the middle of a fundraiser. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, fundraiser booster. Uh, this weekend, we're trying to raise 5000 We did a booster last week with the same goal. We raised $70. So we're trying to beat the 70 But I, my goal is 5000 uh, and I'm going to leave it at that. If you've seen the work I do, you know the work I do. you followed me for years, then you know who I am. Uh, if you don't know who I am, the link to the organization's uh, website is in the description box. Or just Google Rick Wallace PhD and take it from there. Uh, with that being said, there's been a lot of senseless violence in a lot of different ways. We've got rappers being killed uh, by the dozen. Uh, we have this unbelievable, catastrophic uh, undertaking that happened in Cabo uh, with Sequela Robinson. Uh, still, you know, not done with that one. But we have the killing of the three football players in Virginia. And it's just a microcosm of a state of being and a state of affairs. And it's not to say that we haven't always had violence, we haven't always had death, but the way that it is unfolding now and the rate that it's unfolding is significant and worthy of attention. Uh, what I wanna do here is I wanna take a different approach, a different angle. I'm, all, I'm, I'm I've been very, hard on our guys and I've been very hard on us about the fact that we're failing our young boys and I am going to stay on that because it's true but here's another place where missing manhood impacts us and it's showing up in the number of women who are being killed by their mates or former mates we call it intimate partner violence intimate partner homicide and it's obvious that we're dealing with guys that don't take rejection well, guys who are emotionally unstable. We got that. We address that all the time. Here's the other side of the equation that we don't give a lot of attention to. And to me, it is just as important. And that is when you have an absence of a strong, positive male influence, within the direct proximity of our girls, they don't have an understanding of what real manhood is. They are being spoon fed ideologies by way of media and mu mu media through music, through videos, through movies, through what they see on social media. And there's this idea that this is what a man looks like. So they are easily tricked and fooled by facades because they don't see I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that isn't isn't considered when we talk about this on uh, a grand scale we talk about modeling how dad treats mom how dad treats daughter and so forth but what we don't talk about is the ability the human ability to detect and sense energy and what do I mean by that? There's an energy created by authentic love, genuine love, 
genuine care, genuine concern, positive nature, positive force. That energy is projected and the body on a molecular level picks up on it, detects it, senses, becomes used to it. So when the body becomes uh, exposed to negative energy or energy where someone may have an evil intent or have even have uh, some things hidden in an attempt to be deceptive to hide some things, the body detects it. So what happens is when you don't have positive male influences in the home, it isn't just that the black, that the black male, young black male doesn't have the proper model to, to, to emulate. It's also that the young black female doesn't have the proper model to observe also isn't experiencing and in being engaged by the proper, proper energy. And so she goes out and she chooses mates based on what she is exposed to, based on what she is used to, based on what social media and the mainstream media is presenting, and it's not what she needs. And then when she determines, hey, wait a minute, something's going wrong, I'm gonna get away from this. Now she's in this life or death struggle of trying to get out of it. I have several people that are in that situation now that the Odyssey Project is helping out. And obviously I can't speak on it too much because we're trying to make sure they're safe. But I'm telling you that it's 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 easy to sit up and tell somebody once they're in it to get out. But when getting out of it means a person decides that you're abandoning them and that the only option now is death, either for you or both of you, it's not that simple anymore. You're already in it and you need to get out of it because staying isn't an option, but leaving isn't easy. Not because you don't know you need to leave and you're not ready to leave, but because leaving comes with certain dangers. And we have to deal with this on the front end. I keep telling you the same thing with violence. Stop waiting until these boys do something so you can holler, oh my God, shaking my head, how horrible, evil, and all that. When there's an opportunity to create an, uh, a proper environment and teaching opportunity and socialization opportunity that will allow them to develop into young men who don't do that in the first place. Well, the same thing with our young girls. We are going to have to spend a lot more time preparing them. And we're going to have to spend a lot more time creating an environment where proper manhood is being modeled in front of them at a close enough proximity that they can be around and feel the energy. Because the energy is important. The energy will tell you things that your sight will miss. And we're not, we, we're, we're not even on that level anymore. Everything is visible now. Everything is what's tangible. And we lose so much of our spiritual ability, power, and force because we're operating solely on sight. And sight is, is secondary. It should be secondary to us, but we're not operating in the way we should. So my challenge is that we start to do work. We start to invest in being better, being present, putting into situations and ideas, encouraging black men to stay in relationships, encouraging black women who have good men that this idea of finding the perfect mate is a trap. If he's treating you nice, if he's loving on you, if he's out there on the grind and he's bringing in money and he's doing his best, Start trying to build with him instead of trying to find what's wrong with him because you find what you're looking for. If you're looking for what's wrong with him, you'll find it. Everybody has baggage. Everybody has issues. Everybody has situations. We need to start understanding when someone is worth fighting for and when they need to be let go. And we need to start learning this stuff on the front end. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. I think I've made my point. Uh, with that being said, look, I'm gonna check out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day. And I'm gonna do the same again. If you believe in the work I'm doing, if you believe that I bring value uh, to the black community, we'll show some love because we need your support. Look in the description box in the post box and support the work we're doing. On that note, I am out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. Okay.